Hey everyone, Dave from BC Bushcraft. Welcome to another video. I am doing a, another camp cooking video at the Bushcraft camp. And you can see, probably you guys probably watched the actual camp video, but I have the roof poles up and that took a really long time. So I need to eat, I'm starving. So what's on the menu today is kind of like a weird combination that I threw together. It's gonna be Mr. Noodles, some eggs, and we're gonna be frying like peppers and onions. Camp is looking kind of cool in the background there. The roof definitely gives it some character now. I will be collecting some wood. Well, I don't need to collect wood because I have a ton of like, where are you? See all that wood back there? Oop. All that wood over there is kind of like not straight stuff or just leftover parts from um, trying to get these things up. So. I have plenty of wood to saw up and we'll be using the Boreal 21. Still getting used to putting this thing together. That snap just freaks me out. <laughs> okay. Nice and dense. So today is the first day that I've uh, worn the axe on the belt and it actually worked surprisingly well. I originally didn't think that I would do it because of the way that it went on, but um, I found it didn't bother me at all today. So this is cedar. I wonder if it's a bit green. Twigs on trees, this stuff here. That's pretty much gonna be the kindling for the fire because it's nice and dry, simple, it's easy. All right, let's build a platform. This time we're going a little bit more, a little more on the platform. I'm a big fan of kind of like the upside down fire idea where you kind of build your fire on top of um, a good amount of wood because it really does work. I've used it lots and lots of times and it's just a good, it just works well. Works well. So I want to have a nice fire today. Some of it will be for cooking too. I feel like a proper British bushcrafter with my birch bark. Some of you are like, oh my god, that was terrible. I'm half English, so I'm allowed to do that. I'm allowed to make fun of English people. <clears throat> half English, half French Canadian. Fun fact. So we'll just uh, scrape up a nice pile. Like a proper British bushcrafter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was more Swedish, that was it. <laughs> British. I don't do this very often, so, wow. I don't know how much I need to be scraping. I just need a little flame, right? It doesn't have to be like too crazy. 
And I guess I need a little bit more to catch to catch the flame. All right, are you guys ready? Can you see that? Are you ready? Are you ready, Freddy? Ooh, there's flame. That's why you guys use it, because it's freaking easy. Excuse my language. I feel like I just used a lighter. Is that even like bushcrafting? Make it seem so cool using birch bark when it's like the easiest thing in the world. It's probably easier than paper. Da, 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 da. Lots of twigs. That was too easy. Look at how much more I had. I was planning to burn all of it. Oh well. Ridiculously big fire. Let's not get smoked out. While we wait for that to uh, burn and die down and give us some coals, I thought that uh, I would do, um, you know, going along the British bushcrafting train to uh, make a pot hanger. A pot hanger! That was horrible. Apparently I'm taking acting classes to be better at you. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not taking acting classes. <laughs> so first step for a pot hanger is to find a V. We will set it there. That's where it'll be sitting. Probably only need it to be. So like that. Let's take that. enough to stake it in. Relatively straight stick over the fire. Maybe just trim this off a bit. Give it a little groove for like your bale to sit on. I think that'll be good. So to make sure that the stick doesn't go anywhere, maybe jam it in just a touch. Put a rock on top. We'll be good to go. Do do do. What do you know? You can stoke up the fire a bit. I'll just throw all these twigs on it. I'll get it going. <clears throat> that is the quick and easy way of a pot hanger. While that boils, I thought I'd just carve up a quick, quick spoon. More like a flat spoon, spatula type thing. Do some stirring. Eat, maybe use to eat it. I was gonna possibly make my chopsticks again, but 
doesn't have to be pretty. Good enough, something to stir, stir with. I'm pretty sure we're boiling by now, or at least close to boiling. What are we? Yeah, we're boiling just a little bit. Not purifying the water, just enough to make uh, some coffee. My uh, awesome instant mix. Stir that up. Whew, that's hot. Oh, I don't yet have a good place to sit here yet. This tree's okay. At least I can lean my back up against it, but I probably will have to build a all right, let's get to actually doing some cooking now. I think the fire's at a good, reasonable level. Just monitor the heat, so... Basically... It's kind of like a hobo stir-fry that I'm doing with some uh, Mr. Noodles. And I'll try to cook that up in my mug. See how well this does. Throw some water in there. And we'll put it on the pot hanger. I don't know if there's enough heat up there. Or if there will be enough heat. <clears throat> but we'll work on frying. Frying up the onions and things like that. Throw that in a little bit later. So we got a couple eggs. And we have, this is basically red, orange, yellow, peppers, onions, and some butter. All thrown in some plastic. Make sure that big hunk of butter melts before we burn everything. Yeah, it's gonna fry up nicely. Basically like an egg stir fry with some Mr. Noodles. Definitely got a good fry going on. Nice and crispy. Burn those later. This would be a good omelet on its own. Where's the good cooking area? Pfft. Smoke in my face. <laughs> Add the sauce packet, make it spicy. This looks like a fine meal to me. Ah, oh, that tastes good. Let's see. Let's do the scrambled dough. 
Looks good. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. I'm gonna go sit down. Sit, whoops. Sit down at my, my tree. Mmm. <laughs> That's tasty. That's incredibly tasty. Turn like a small little meal like Mr. Noodles into something like hearty. Something that could actually be a dinner or a lunch. And you know, if you wanted to go simpler, you can just cook Mr. Noodles and, and drop an egg in it while you're boiling it. The egg will cook in the water, mix it up and you got a bit of protein with your noodles. And that, that tastes really good too. That's, that's really, that's even easier obviously than doing this. So, Anyways, I hope you like the second edition of um, Cooking at the Bushcraft Camp. This one, I'd say this one tastes better than uh, last last run. Even though gyoza's taste really good, this one was more, a little bit more to it. <laughs> and just gyoza and spinach. So, hopefully you're enjoying some of the new content, the new style. I'm still getting used to filming with the camera. I'm still getting used to, like, playing around with, you know, my too dark or am I too bright let's boost the brightness a bit so it's gonna take me a little bit of time is that too bright now let's boost it down I don't know it's getting dark anyways so darkish getting towards dusk but what I meant to say is I hope that you're enjoying the new content and some of these new cooking videos they're mo mostly just meant to be fun and kind of an additional videos to building the camp because building the camp does take a long time it, it's not like this easy task to do cooking videos are very easy to 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 do and they're fun and i have to eat out here anyways so uh and then it gives uh you guys some ideas of what you can do on your campfires even when you're just camping like car camping you can easily make meals like this on the fire and you know that's that's the fun part about cooking videos is like you don't have to be like bush crafting when you're doing it you can totally be like car camping or you could just be in your backyard cooking on the fire for fun because that's what we're really doing all this for is for fun and a meal like this it, it would taste good at home you could do this on the the stove stove top at home you know, if you're broke and need need, <laughs> need ideas, <laughs> Mr. Noodles and eggs. Can you believe they went up in price? They're like 40 cents a pack at most places. Criminals. Anyways, I hope you like this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And this is Dave from BC Bushcraft. I'll see you on the next video. Next Bushcraft camp cooking video. I'll probably try to do one every time I come out to do some building. Because I need to eat and it's fun. So until the next one, I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.